so as you'll notice on the front of this Gladiator, it does come with the Badlands winch. So that's a really nice extra upgrade that it came with when it was new. You also notice it's got a set of Falcon tires. Now this one doesn't really have much of a big lift kit on it, but it does got a nice setup and stance, and it'll get you out there and get you doing what you need to be doing, whether you're getting on the off-road or cruising on the streets of Charleston. So this one's got some nice upgrades on it as far as lighting. You got these rough country LED lights on both sides to really shine to the left and to the right and down the center when you're going through those trails. Also up top, if you need storage, because maybe the back of the Gladiator and the truck area is not enough for you, well, you got these really nice Pelican cases up top. So you have that. Plus, if you needed more extras, well, let me tell you, you have the roof nest in the back back there, which is really accommodating for you, your wife, your husband, whoever, if you're buying it, you got plenty of space to get inside that tent and get a good night's rest. And it's actually really comfortable. We now, when you're camping out, you're out there on the off-road and you're not by any gas stations or whatever, you're gonna need something like this. Now, what we got here is technically you got four containers total. I know it looks like just two, but there's two here and two here. They hold two gallons in each container of gasoline, or if you want to say 7.5 liters. So you got four gallons here, and then you got four gallons of water right here as well. So you're going to need that. It's going to be good. Stock them up before you get out there and go out there and do that camping trip. So, you know, you might not think about it a whole lot. You're like, I got four wheel drive. I got the better tires. I got a little bit of a lift. You know, I'm not going to get stuck out there. I got my winch on the front. Well, let me tell you, let's say you get in one of those spots and you're really trying to get out of that mud or that dirt or whatever the case may be. These are going to come in handy. I guarantee you at some point you're going to use them for yourself or maybe somebody else. But just slide those right up under those tires if you're in one of those slippery situations. And it's going to help you get out of that dirt or mud so you can get back on the trail and have some fun. All right, y'all, let's take a look and see what we got going on in the inside of this Gladiator. There's got to be some extras. Let's see what we got. All right, everybody, sitting inside the Gladiator. Now, there's not a whole lot of upgrades as far as aftermarket features inside the interior. But that's okay. I mean, it doesn't need a whole lot, right? I mean, this Jeep pretty much is fully equipped and has a ton of nice extras and options on it just the way it is. I mean, one thing is nice is this massive screen right here, this touch screen. You also have leather wrapped up onto the dash with the red stitching that looks nice. Lots of little spots to store things throughout the interior. You got your handles right there on the A pillar. And then right there on that B pillar, you got those handles as well. The leather seats inside are really nice. They got the red Rubicon stitched in. The armrest is in great shape. I mean, it's just very clean. You got tons of USB ports. This one is a real deal, folks. It is a six-speed manual transmission. So if you're looking for one to do some overlanding or off-roading, I mean, manual sometimes is the way to go. Um, also right here, you got all your switches for your lockers because it is a Rubicon. You got auxiliary buttons here to hook up all the outside lights like we got. You just click it on, click it off. More USBs, a seat port and auxiliary window controls start stop engine button i mean it's got everything you could dream of on the inside of this beautiful rubicon the tops in the front come off just like they do on your jeep wranglers and in the back you got plenty of space back there so this is all stock on the inside but again it's nice it's just the way you would want it you know if you want to get some extras you can but the outside's got everything you could dream of